Hello, 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 and welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's the finale, the last two episodes of Heartstopper. We're here, we're queer, and we're probably gonna cry. Actually, I don't think we're gonna cry. I don't see it for me. I don't see it for me, even though I cried the last episode, but I don't see it for me, okay? I'm very excited to get into this finale. I hope you are too. The last two episodes, let's do this. If you wanna watch the full unedited reaction, you can click the link down below and subscribe to the Patreon. But if you don't wanna do that, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps the algorithm, helps the YouTube channel, and helps me create this content for you. So yes, let's do it. <laughs> Episode seven is called Together. Dance Studio. Come on, Tara. Take your mind off things. Take your mind off things. It's all about the little touches, hand holding, arm squeezing. Ooh! It's the little things like that that get you buzzing. Boy. Oh, okay. I was about to bloody say, we're at rugby practice, boys. I thought they were kissing at rugby practice. That was nerve wracking. I was scared there. I love my ballet classes, but I've got to get three buses to get there. Well, I can drive you to ballet if you want. Nick! Nick, you don't have to. No, I, I want to. Alright, well, maybe. Nick is so nice! Why the f***? Nick is so sweet. Just yeah. the kindest soul. Charlie's been a lot better these days. Good, good, good. And how's Nick doing these days? Just need to remember to look after yourself too. Yep. I still think journaling's really beneficial. <laughs> it really is. It really is. I'm a... <gasps> Look who it is. Man, the myth, the legend. Honestly, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing and I don't want my first time to be really bad and embarrassing. Your first time being embarrassing is fine. It's your first time. Are you are you meant to be great at everything on your first go? No. Same applies for sex. Here we go. Oh, maybe Bitch. not. I remember this. I remember we had to do it with a banana. I feel like I don't know anything. Oh, just have sex with them, please. Just, just stop hearing about it. You've just got to dive in. You've got to dive in head first. You got this, girl. <laughs> it's so useless. Nick's like, I'll help you. She was just feeling it all night. Like, you could tell she wanted it, and it got to a point. I just don't want it. Not really. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Just wait to He's like, maybe you can put a condom on me? Oh, I did! Diva. Well, I'm going to look at some images of STIs. Alan, don't be showing the STIs. Yeah, girl. We were in some random bedroom at a house party. We had no idea what we were doing. And after that, we still had a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. Maybe we get things wrong. Loving this. No, it's not some perfect, effortless thing. Me and Alan, <laughs> Isaac's like, I'm just going to clock out. <laughs> Isaac's like, I'm going to read my book. You all two get into this. Have fun. <laughs> I love Isaac. I'm proud of Elle. That's my girl. Oh, God, for sake. This is like, pisses me off. I'm sorry about the interview, Elle. Your mother and I had a chat. Should have expected it. No, no, you shouldn't. Doesn't matter. I don't want to talk about it anymore. That must be so difficult as like an older trans woman to like see that happening to someone younger and like just it must be devastating to be like I can't protect you from what I've been through like that's so hard and I feel like we are going backwards and it's so weird to me because I feel like there was a time like 2016 to 2020 where like we were kind of like really progressing forward with queer rights and it was going well and then suddenly it's just flipped on its head and it was like i think it was covid everyone got too busy being on the internet and ugh. don't let it stifle your art let it blossom into new creation oh have you don't come in Christ, Fuck off. Sorry. <laughs> i'm telling him his brother to keep fucking off i love it <laughs> shut the fuck up fuck off perfect i'm a bit nervous oh Oh my god, are we doing it this episode? Are we pumping? Can I sleep over tonight? You know how my mum is about it. Oh, I feel so bad for Elle. Did you want to talk about it? Is there anything I could do to make you feel better? 
I was growing so much as a person. It's really nice. Oh, that's sometimes all you need just to be held. Just to be in your feelings and be... Woo! No, I get it. You've had extra schoolwork and stuff. Have it's been too much? Yeah. I'm worried about you. Don't worry. That's impossible, isn't it? You can't not worry. I'm gonna look after myself and do what I want. Good. And that includes doing me. Oh. Obviously. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh, this is a season of exploring each other's bodies. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Okay. Oh my goodness. Obsessed with this. Obsessed with this. Uh, Charlie, can I have a quick word before you go? I wanted to give you this. What's this? Campaigning starts in the autumn. I think you should apply. Okay. Thanks. Oh, Mr. Farouk. Charlie, there are a lot of um, younger students who would find it inspiring to see you as head boy. That's all. I'll think about it. That's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, I'm already crying. That's so sweet. That is so nice. Girl, I'm crying. That's nice. That's so sweet. Very true. And I'm glad Mr. Fruit said that. It's so interesting because you're just healing little parts of yourself, aren't you? Through other people's experiences and other people's trauma and how you relate. And I think that's what Heartstopper is all about. It's like healing little parts of yourself as a viewer um, by watching people live authentic queer lives and going through moments that you've been through that maybe you've been through alone and you can now relate to it. It's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. That was very sweet. I was deputy head boy of my school, so I was inspiring the kids. <laughs> I love Tao. <laughs> and he would fight the world for me. But... <laughs> He just can't properly understand. We're here. We might understand. That's so sweet. We are learning, guys, girls, everyone. We are learning to open up. We are learning to speak to people, to, oh, you know, try and find people who relate to our struggles. And like Elle said, yes, Tao won't fully understand, but there's a part of him that will fight the world for you. And like, that's still someone that you need in your court, you know, and he clearly cares about Elle, and I think it's just, it's sweet, but it's difficult because I won't understand the exact ramifications of it and how Elle's feeling. I can only sympathize in a way where I've experienced homophobia or bigotry in that sense. And it's completely different, but there is also similar levels to it, but I'll never fully understand it. You know, but I can sympathize with it and I can be there for someone going through that. And it's like people are always going to be there as a shoulder to cry on, a safe place to talk. And I think Elle does need to open up. Maybe speaking to her trans friends is the right way to go because, you know, they're there. They're living that experience. They've got that life experience that Elle also shares with them. You do have to just kind of dive head first into it. Once you do it once, it becomes infinitely easier every time. I'm trying to peek. Yeah, he is. It's allowed. It's allowed. <laughs> there we go. It's all like give yourself a bit of grace. It's all about growth. We're all Ooh, girls. We we are actually on the rugby pitch. You better stop. Uh, st boys, start. Maybe uh, one night you could stay around mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you think your parents will let you? I know my mum will be fine with it. Well, yeah, Olivia Coleman, ally. There's not really much point in her banning sleepovers. If you and Nick want to have sex, then you'll have sex. You don't need a sleepover to do that. I'm obsessed. My advice is to sneak out. My advice is that a sleepover is unnecessary for the activity in question. <laughs> I love Michael. I hope you do get to have your sex sleepover. Michael, can you stop talking about my brother having sex? Please? Sorry. <laughs> Oh, bless Michael. He's so autistic coded, but it's the f***ing cutest and sweetest thing ever. It's genuinely so, so adorable. He just says what he thinks, and I, I love that. And he's always thinking the right things and nice things, it seems. Oh gosh, here we go. Yeah, let's do it. There was one time that we, uh... Go on. Cinema? 
School is an option. Oh! You had sex at school? Yeah, it, was, it was only once. <laughs> it was a really bad idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're quite there yet. Love, Tara. And also we have a, a history of getting walked in on. Isn't it mad that, like, season one, it was like, oh, Tara and Nick are together. No, look at them. No, look at them. My cutie patooties. You guys have been waiting a long time. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. Not at all. You go at your own pace. Pressure to have sex at our age, but people should just take as long as they need. Yeah, go at your own pace. Yeah, Charlie's been through a lot. You've been through a lot too, Nick. Don't forget that. You don't have to be the strong one all the time. I love Tara. I learned that the hard way. Well, there we go. Exactly. See, we're all learning through different life experiences. Do you have any advice about that kind of stuff? I'm not really the person to ask about sex between guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to what you've done for me this year. Let me stay at your house, helping move into my grands, taking me clothes shopping. Or Those are like very low bar things, thus. Those aren't low bar things. You can say they're low bar things, but these are big things for people. Like, you can say the bar, oh, I, I, it's basically nothing. No, but for some people, it's huge. For Darcy, that's huge. They were in such a tough position and you doing the bare minimum that you think you're doing is something actually insanely kind to them. So never say it's the low bar because, you know, like I said, we all got different life experiences. I know we haven't talked about it properly or anything. It's just a huge deal and... It's not a huge deal. It's unless you want it to be. It's just you. That's it, you fall in love with the person. me and you. You fall in love with people! Woo! I love this show! I love this show! You just fall in love with a person! I really like that one. Yeah, me too. Oh. We should try it again sometime. Oh, does he know as well? <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. Me and Nick were wondering if I could stay around his one night. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, yes, at some point. You have your GCSE exams coming up, and this is quite a big step. And I'm mentally ill, so I can't. No, no, that's not what I said. That's what you were thinking. Oh. So you were always thinking. You think I'm some child who can't make my own decisions? Okay, Charlie, that's not fair. If I want to see my boyfriend, then I will. You can't stop me. His mum is so tightly wound. She needs to... You, these two need to have a conversation. He needs to tell his wife and be like, we need to relax. Oh my gosh, we need to relax. Because it's like I've been saying, if you say no and you don't actually have these proper conversations, it's just gonna create an air of resentment and hatred and it's gonna make Charlie just piss, be pissed off with you. Do you know what I mean? Like she should have been like, okay, let's, actually, let's go through to the living room and let's sit down and talk about this. I can talk about my fears and my worries, you can talk about what you want and we can find a solution and I can maybe see where you come from and we can explain. Instead of just being like, uh, 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 uh. that's all she does. She goes, uh, 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 uh. like, diva, it's fine. But they're gonna fucking have sex anyway. So, you, I, but I understand her frustration or her worry about exam results and da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, it's like, you can't let that fear and that worry about his exam results like completely overtake you so that you're ruining your relationship with your child. Sit down, have conversations. That's all we need to do. It's about speaking, talking, communication is key. Yes. You okay? <sighs> yeah. She needs therapy, I think. I think she needs therapy. I think she's probably got a lot of childhood trauma that she's learned from her mother that she's now perpetuating and doing because that's, that is normally the case. It's like you got a lot of trauma from your mother and then you realize you've become your mother, you know? I know you've been really down lately and uninspired about your art. It made me think about when Charlie was really ill and I made him that little video. Tom, it was the first time this I is felt sweet. like I could create something that the put hell? joy into the world. She gently How kind. That's so, that's so sweet. It's really apparent how much Tao cares and loves Elle. Look how much love she's surrounded by. It's so nice to see a trans girl just surrounded by absolute love and adoration. Especially in this day and age. Like, it's so nice to see. I'm so sad that her spark was dimmed. It feels like the whole world is against me. And I hate that. I'm just scared you won't get it. I'll try. 
I always try. That's so sad. Like it makes me, it breaks my heart that she went through that and that society and that interviews just like dimmed her shine and dimmed her spark. And I just think that's so awful. It's so awful. I hate that. And I don't want anyone to ever feel like that. And I don't want any of you to ever feel like that. So don't feel like that. There's love all around and you've got to focus on that love that's close to you. Please. <laughs> or I'll cry. <laughs> Need a distraction. Yeah. Oh! I f***ing bet we need Please don't leave me behind. Oh. Well, that took a turn. Oh, God. Season four, Nick going to therapy. I feel it. I see it. And then she was like, you're only 16 and you've been ill. And it's like, okay, but what's that got to do with me spending time with my boyfriend? Did she actually say that he was 16 and that he's been ill? Is that what she said? Or is Charlie kind of like, you know, that way where we get so upset that we kind of like imagine. I'll need to go back and actually look at it. But do you know how when you can get upset in situations, you explain it to someone, you kind of heighten it a little bit because you're so frustrated in that moment. It's a very human thing to do. I mean, at least the good thing that's come out of his, the argument with his mum is that he's confident. He's like, I want to do this. I'm not ill. I'm not this. So do, do, do. <laughs> At least you're learning. At least you're finding that confidence in yourself that Jeff has been telling you to find. You give me so much confidence. But when you're not around, I um, I, I know, I guess I feel a bit lost. It's, it's nothing. It's no. Nothing. What do you mean? We don't hide our emotions in this house. Not anymore. We've learned. We got to speak. When I realised I was bi, I feel like I woke up because I was repressing so much of myself before then. You know, not just my sexuality, but my thoughts and feelings, my personality. Now I'm thinking about uni and my future and... It's a lot. It's a lot to put on young people. Basically, I'm just freaking out. You're allowed to be a mess sometimes. It's natural. Are we going to be sweaty messes together? When I say sweaty, you know, oh, okay. Oh, God. Girls, I thought it was going to be next episode. I think it might be this. Oh, my God. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Okay. We do have to if you don't. Oh, this is literally the only thing I've been able to think about. Consent is sexy, kids. It's consexy. It's consexy. Consexy. There you go. Consent is sexy. Oh, my God. Did you think where we were in season one? Ooh! Just think where we were in season one and look at us now. Oh! We exploring each other's bodies. Girl! We grown! We growing up! Okay. We did it, girls! Girls, we did it! We did the rumpy pumpy! We did the rumpy pumpy! We had sex! Good for them! Good for them! Sex is about exploring, it's about trying new things, it's about being comfortable, confident, it's about being messy, making mistakes, it's, it's fun, you know? And I think that... I think that was the right moment. I think Nick was feeling a bit down and Charlie came in and, you know, saved the day and I think it's clear that Charlie's growing in confidence and it's really nice to see. So yes, Let's jump into the final episode. Let's do it. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, nervous, excited, nervous. Can't believe we waited so long. It was a success. You don't mind that I kept my shirt on? Do you? No. Ah, oh, the inner, the inner saboteur. I loved every second of what just happened. The inner saboteur. It's it haunts us, doesn't it? It haunts us. I think sex can be all sorts of things. Period. Oral is sex. Still loads of things we could do. Yes. This is the thing. There's such a pressure. There's such a pressure to have, especially between gay men, anal sex. But sex can be a lot of things. Sex can be just oral sex. Sex can just be kissing. Sex, can, like, do you know what I mean? We all get our, we all get our, rocks off at different things and that's fine okay just because you're not having actual you know intercourse anal sex does not mean that you're not having sex you know sex is vast it's vast it's wild and it comes in an array of different things you know as long as you're happy you're healthy and you're not hurting anyone and it's consensual go for it and you're not breaking the law my god don't break the law me and the girls are gonna go on a little road trip to 
visit some of them. Some of these are really far away. But my top choices are local. I've been kind of worried about being away from you. This is tough. This is tough because I actually don't... Uh, I think, like, yes, a relationship is really key, but if you want to go do something like traveling, go to uni, work far away, you need to do it for you. And I think if your relationship is strong, it will last. It's a test of a relationship. I'll help you study. Ha! <laughs> we, we, sex ed, bitch. We study in sex ed. Is that your mum? Oh, yeah, probably. She said she was going to be home right now. Where, where, where are my jeans? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Olivia Coleman, she's going to understand. I'm sad Olivia wasn't in this season, but I'm do glad I'm glad that we got Haley out well at least. Right, I want Charlie to storm in and be like, Mum, we've had sex, stop worrying about it, we're fine. That's what I want Charlie to be like to his mum. <laughs> she fing she her mind would blow up, her head would pop off. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Tori's like, I noticed a glow about you. There's something different about you. Don't look at me like that. You come home in Michael's clothes all the time. You can just tell me you're dating. It's kind of obvious. You don't know what you're talking about. Tori, come on. We all know. I'll, uh, I'll leave you two to uh, talk. <laughs> oh, God. I'm always going to worry about you, Charlie. I can't help it. I'm your mum. Which is fine. That's but fine. But I know I can be overbearing this is what we need my mom was a bit like this too bitch <laughs> why am i actually switched on like i just get life i <laughs> see life experiences and what everyone's going through i just get it i just understand it i get it i empathize with everything just call me i don't know i don't know what you should call me jeff <laughs> you should call me jeff i swore i wouldn't become like her but i think in some ways there Maybe it is. I have. Have I not? Oh, girls. Wow. You're not. You're not like her. But I can be quick to anger and that's unfair on you. I'm glad she's saying this. I would feel much less worried about you if you waited a few more weeks just till your GCSEs are over. Give and take. It's a give and take. Can that be a compromise? There you go. Come on, Charlie. I think that's fair. Okay. Fine. Thank you, Charlie. She just cares about your law. You don't have to be sorry. <laughs> This is what I wanted! Guys, I literally said this last episode that I wanted this. I wanted, what was it, this episode actually? No, it was this episode. Yeah, it, was it? No, it was last episode. Yeah, because last episode they had sex and he left, yeah. It's because I'm doing this back to back that I get confused. But I literally said this last episode that I want her to actually sit down and talk and open up. And the fact that I called it, that her mother was probably like this. I get it, I get family trauma. I understand it. <laughs> Growth. I'm enjoying the mum's growth this season. I am, I am, I am. Oh my god, they've got a taste for it. They've got a taste for it. That's vibes. Study hard, f harder. We got this in the bag, girls. <gasps> oh, I love that. I love that. Imogen, are you sure you've got enough stuff? Well, I had to reduce my skincare routine, so I had a whole other bag. <laughs> my queen! I love her. I actually love her. Guys, I love Imogen so much. I'm going to do an ASMR about how much I love her. Thank you. Get inspired, get inspired. This is such a cute little group. Oh. Be nice to live at home. And mum won't be on her own and be close to Charlie. What about when Charlie goes to uni the next year? Like I said, you've, you, you can't make these choices for other people. You've got to make them for you and it'll work out. I'm not sure I did like you. Ooh. Like that. Okay. I think I kind of felt... Um, Pressured. Like pressure to have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I was a cool girl. She still, she still is a cool girl. I don't think I've ever liked a boy. Actually. I love Imogen. Sorry, that probably makes no sense. This is the perfect person to talk to about this because he's been through this. Yeah. Who even am I? You're Imogen. You're my friend. I'm loving this character arc for my girl Imogen. I'm loving it. I'm getting too emotional. And it's not even sad. It's like, nice. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my life. That's that sure. always an option. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. That's Darcy's plan. Imogen looks so cute with her little glasses just had to say that tao mentioned you two have been keeping each other busy 
entertained. Nicholas, tell us everything <laughs> right now. You don't have to. <laughs> no, no, he absolutely does. Everton. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. Important purchases must be made. <laughs> oh my god. He'll be getting the wrong ideas. That pharmacist will be like, the, the four of it? Okay. No, not like that, please. Not like that. Woo! I'm obsessed with Charlie being in this band too. Studio tour with me, Tasu. Um, <laughs> Studio tour as in the garage. What? I just, I just love you. Um, excuse me. Where's my hug? Come here. <laughs> Why did he send some news in there? Um, excuse me. Why are you being all soppy? I just don't think I tell you enough how important you are to me. Mm -hmm. He knows Nick's going away. You've got to build back that friendship. These are your connections. What are you thinking of studying? Maybe sports science or psychology. I haven't really decided yet. Imogen's so cute. Ah, every time I see Imogen, I'm like, my girl, that's my girl. My partner's actually on one of the teams. Josh! Josh, concentrate! Oh. This is what it is like. See, when you get out of high school, it, it doesn't matter as much, like queerness and things like that. I know it does, but like the world opens up. You think high school is literally the be all and end all, and the world opens up and you find your queer group, and it's literally like mind blowing how restricted you felt to like heteronormative, you know, ideals when you're in high school. And it's like. I'm so excited to see what happens next season if our characters are going through university. I think that's such a big step and it's so new and exciting. So I'm excited for it. I was going to ask if maybe we could make our sessions once every other week rather than weekly. That must be really I'm glad to hear it, Charlie. good to hear as a therapist. It is. I mean, less money, but cool. good in a way, <laughs> you know? E even though I love Nick, I need other people. My sister, my parents, and they're not being annoying. My friends. This is it. This is literally it. In fact, I think I'm stronger now than ever. I hope you know that I'm going to write that down and read it back to you when you're feeling crap. That's so. That's really nice for Charlie to hear and for him to learn that. That's growth. Growth, 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 growth. I feel like Charlie's grown. It's very exciting. Look, if I move away, it will hurt Charlie. Oh, Nick, you're a bit of a people pleaser. Oh, mm -hmm. no, he needs No, it's it. true. It's true. I agree. You're always putting everyone else's feelings above your own. Yeah. But you have to put yourself first right now. Yeah, Charlie will support you. He just wants you to be happy. Yes! It's just about him. I don't know who I am without him. Maybe it's time to find out. Tara! My queen! <laughs> yeah. They're all saying the things I, I, they're all saying what I think. I am so, like, not to, like, not to, like, toot my own horn, but I am so switched on. <laughs> like, there's moments I'm not, and there's moments I get it wrong, but I am switched on most of the time. Intrusive thoughts be gone. Banish them. Banish the intrusive thoughts. Are you ready for the big performance? I think he is. Are we, are we going in a t-shirt? <gasps> Oh my gosh, good for him! Oh, that makes me so happy! I know what it's like to... That that actual terrifying feeling of like body dysmorphia where you... I still get it sometimes, you know? Um, it's one of those things I'm never going to be rid of, but that feeling of just... Pushing past that like nervousness and anxiety is so hard and I'm just like... So proud of Charlie. I'm so proud of Charlie. Oh. I mean, I don't care what society thinks about our relationship as long as we're both happy. If, if she doesn't want to label it, I literally don't care. I just figured we should have a conversation about it. But now, I wish I hadn't said anything. Michael. Do you want me to go and find her? Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, oh I'm getting teary eyed. I just know Michael is kind. I know that he's got a kind soul, and I just think that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, and I want happiness for Tori. Ah, I'm getting emotional. Michael is looking Girl, for you. Why am I crying? It, Michael just expresses. Oh, it's so cute. And how do you feel? I don't ever feel anything. That's a lie. That's not true. That's a lie. 
We feel so much. She's putting up too many barriers. Just trapped inside. Whether you want to be Michael's girlfriend or not, it doesn't matter. You have so much love to give. Oh. You don't have to give it all to me. Yeah, I'll still have bad days, but I'm okay. Oh, here we go. He's <laughs> so cute. Mike was so cute. Oh, I think Mike was actually perfect for Tori. This is a moment for Charlie. I'm hoping this is a moment for Charlie to like find that comfort in Tao and Isaac. I, 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 and, and Zahar and um, Darcy. It's not Nick's fault, but he can find that confidence through friendship, especially if Nick's moving away. I think that's this is the perfect moment for him to learn that. Come on, Charlie. I have so much faith in him. <laughs> Emma just like, put your foot down! You got this, my Charlie boy. Yes, find your happiness there. Look at him finding the confidence. Come on, please. I'm begging. I'm begging. The heart stopper writer. Alice, please. Celebi. Come on, this is a ball. Celebi. Guys, hurry up. Are you doing so well? I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Oh, look at them. Imogen's, Imogen's pulling up the rear. Oh. Look how well he's doing. This makes me so happy. I feel like I'm, I feel so proud of him. I feel like a proud brother. I feel like Tori. <laughs> oh, this is so happy. This is so nice. This is sweet. I love, I feel like I've got my season one show back. My kind show back. Oh, this is nice. This is so hopeful and uplifting. I'm sorry I wasn't there before you went on. It's okay. I was okay. Yes, he was. He was so okay. He's fine. I know. And we've got a free house. Yes, now you just two can have sex. You just can do a bit of rumpy bumpy. Oh, this is nice. I feel like it's all the right things. It's all the right things. Everyone's growing, everyone's learning, we're all doing the right things. This is like mwah, 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 mwah. I've been thinking about going to art school in Europe. Whoa. My mum's not gonna pay for international travel. I mean, she doesn't even pay for my bus fare to school, so. <laughs> this is so nice, this is so nice. This is what Nick can see and learn. We're learning from others' experiences. Adore how supportive the gran is. Adore, it's perfect for Darcy, especially as they're going through this journey. Take mine off. Oh! You sure? He's fucking a sure bitch. He's doing so well. That's my boy Charlie. This is it. This is it. This is it. I love you. <laughs> and you are so fucking hot. Nick's been dropping the F-bombs this season. I'm loving it. He says, I'm gonna fucking swear, bitch. Yep. 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 Oh my gosh. Is this gonna be the intimate sex instead of us just like going crazy? Oh wow, okay. They are so cute. I'm so happy and proud of their growth. It's so nice to see. Oh, don't I'll get emotional. It's just nice to see such an unapologetically queer show and showcasing so many different experiences. Oh. That was perfect. Sorry, not sorry. That was perfect. The perfect ending to a season that f***ing hell in the middle nearly killed me. That was just so nice. It was so nice. It was so kind. It was perfect. I'm so excited to see what happens next season with Nick and his uni placements. And I feel like the last three or four episodes, everything I've been saying, they'll then bring it up and they'll say it again and they'll, they'll say, repeat what I've said. And I'm like, I feel so connected and so switched on. And like, I, I connect with it so well. And I just love and adore it. I love all the characters. I love the decisions we're making. I love, I don't love some of the situations we're put in, but I love the topics that are being discussed. 
and I think it's so important to have these topics like the trans debate when it shouldn't be a debate and body dysmorphia, panic attacks, the pressure we put on people, um, figuring out your gender identity and just trying things. And I think it's so, so good that a show like this exists. And I think it's so important and, and it needs to exist. And I think I just love all the characters. I love them all. Like I genuinely love them all. And I'm so intrigued and excited to see how it progresses in the future. It just, this has left me hopeful. This has left me so hopeful for the future and I'm so intrigued and excited and I feel like each, 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 each season is progressing. It's getting older, it's getting maturer. It's, we're talking about different things and I, I, I love that. And I, I do think like it's good that we've sped it up so that the end of the year, now Nick's off to uni, so we've got something different. I think another season of just high school would have been difficult to sit through because it's kind of like, right, let's, let's get it going. Whereas now we're like, the actors are growing up, we're maturing as people. I think it, it's so good. So good. Very, very, very happy with that season. I thought overall the season was great. I loved everyone's character arcs, everyone's journeys. And when you look at it from season one to now season three and how people have developed, it's so good and so interesting. And I loved it. Love, love, loved it. If you want to see my full and edited reaction to this season, to last season, to season one, Click the link down below and subscribe to the Patreon. It's a good time. You'll enjoy it. If you don't want to do that, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this season. Let me know your thoughts on these last two episodes. How do you feel about season four? What are you thinking? No spoilers, though, for the books. I'm excited to go into it and see what happens. I want to go in blind again. But yes, this was a fabulous season, and I'm so glad that I got to watch it with you guys. So yes, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>